We are watching Jacqueline's Freestyle Commentary by Coach Chris. This video we're going to look at her freestyle above water. And so let's go ahead and play it first time through at full speed. Just a little bit. So I'm seeing a lot of great things on this freestyle. She does a real good job of staying long with her stroke, and she's doing a real good job of catching, which we'll see when we get underwater, at least initiating the catch. Um, when I'm watching, the only thing I notice is she's doing a lot of the stuff we talk about right. So let's get her swimming a little bit. So she's got a nice recovery. Um, she's doing a pretty standard bent elbow. I would say more of a kind of mid-distance recovery. Nowadays in the sprints, they try to teach a little bit higher arm recovery. But as we frame through, you know, we can see real nice high elbow, real nice lift. She's in a real good position. You can see that nice bend in the arm. You know, I'm an advocate for the bent arm freestyle. Um, in a lot of ways, I think it helps hand speed, and it also helps um, for the ends of those races when your arm's starting to get tired. Um, I like the straight arm freestyle for the sprints, you know, for the high energy output strokes, but for a good cruising stroke, I don't think you can beat the bent elbow. And she's got a really great positioning and alignment of this arm here. Real nice bend. Arms not too close. Hands not too close into the armpit. So that's a real good relaxed recovery. And that's what I'm looking for, for that bent arm stroke. And again, she does a good job of being... Pretty similar on both sides. Her left arm's a little lower, but not much. But what I look for really is just not having the hand too tight to the body, not having the elbow too high. And Jacqueline, you're doing a fantastic job of getting that elbow up where we want it and reaching out over the water. So that recovery here, this nice high recovery relaxed arm, that's, that's what we're looking for. She's doing a real good job with that. Talk about the kick. She's got a fantastic kick behind her. Um, so she's doing a lot of good things on top of the water. Really good. So um, this head position here is a really good shot at it. We'll see it underwater. A lot of the small details will be underwater. I would say it's just a little bit high. You know, I'm seeing she's looking. That's not what I'm trying to do. You know, she's looking kind of this way. And I want the kids looking forward, but I prefer they look a little more down and forward. So if she could just get the eyes a little more, maybe this way. So still looking forward, just a little more down and forward. Let that neck relax a little bit. I don't want the water hitting him in the crown of the head, but I want him hitting him right kind of at the hairline where the hair is, where the forehead hits the hair. So right now I would say she's got it. I mean, you can see she's under the CSP here. So the water line's kind of hitting her just above the eyebrows. So just a little bit, just a little bit keeping that head up a little too high, which is just going to cause the neck to tighten up, which causes the shoulder to tighten up. So a little bit high head position. I'm um, glad she took a breath this way because the other two breaths were the other way. Jacqueline, this is a really solid breath. You're really low to the water, keeping the head low. Um, I think you can breathe a little bit lower, but not much. This is, this is pretty good for this age range. So I'm happy with this. Getting that head back in. Minimum of a movement. I don't see the head diving up and down, so that's solid. A little close on that wall. 
nice glide, good tight streamline, good time breakout. Again, nice high elbow recovery. Little bit, if you watch here, little bit of a head lift for that breath, but I mean, she's really low. You can see she's she's in the pocket of that bow wave at the front of her head. And that's, that's exactly what we want to see. So stable head position, a little bit too high, um, but the elbows are coming up great. Real nice recovery, real nice high recovery. So I'm seeing a lot of good stuff on the above water portion. One thing I'm watching is I'm watching Jacqueline, watching you swim is I'm seeing your hands underwater look like they're slipping. And so let's go to the underwater video and take a good look at how you're pulling because I think that's the biggest area we can improve on the freestyle. Because above water, you're doing all, all the techniques that we're talking about and working on, you're doing them right. So keep this stuff the way you got it. Uh, but let's look underwater and talk about a few things as far as that catch and pull.